how do you rate the performance you just produced? Everything's timing. I'll keep saying it, everything's timing. Um, I, I study boxing. I watch a lot of boxing. Um, not only do I watch boxing, I've watched careers. Um, it's, a, it's all a steady progress. You know, um, when Matt Tyson was a prospect and he grew, he was fighting every month against people, people he was looking at person against people that no one knew, etc. But he built his career. And that's something I'm understanding more and more as I go ahead. Um, I've got to do my job in the ring. I'm not a promoter, I'm not a manager. This is the promoter here, Hall of Famer, Frank Warren. Tony J, he's going to be a Hall of Famer as well. Um, and I'm Anthony Yard, I'm the fighter, so I've got to do my job in the ring and that's right. You did your job very well indeed. You're talking about the progress. You're talking what, what rate of progress are you talking about? David Hay said you ticked every box. He said you look like a million dollars. Said you fight like a million dollars. Barry Jones, former world champ, said it's, he feels it's time for you to step up. What level of opponent do you want to step up to? Me personally, anybody. But again, um, as I said before, I'm not a promoter, I'm not a manager. My job is to fight. As you saw today, I put my first half for opponent. As you said, he's never been floored before. I floored him. He's never been stopped before. I stopped him. So um, I ticked some boxes there. Um, in terms of experience and class of opponent, you know, he had a decent record again. Not only that as well, people are turning me down. I know that for a fact because I talked to my manager, I talked to my promoter. A lot of people that were trying to get for step ups are turning me down. Um, I'm fighting other people, but again, that's not my job. My job is to stick to the boxing and I'm doing that. Well, let's have a word with a man who's looking to make these fights. It's a red hot light, the heavyweight division. If we assume that Kovalev, Viterbiev, Adonis Stevenson, probably out of reach for now. But what about the guys below that? Badu Jack, Alexander Gavozdik, the 2012 Olympian. We've got domestic guys, Callum Johnson, Frank Buglioni, Hosea Burton. Where do you take a man with this talent and at what rate are you looking to progress them? We keep doing what we're doing with him. He's learning every fight. He's got seven great rounds in the bank tonight. Took a guy, you said earlier, never been on the floor, never been stopped. South four, first time he pulled a South four. Done brilliantly, you know. He, I mean, hit the, hit the South four with both hands, catching him, took the fight of him, broke him down, and it's now just keep stepping him up and moving him up. You know, he will be certainly fighting for a big, big title by the end of the year, a big title. I'm not talking about domestic titles, a big title. That's the way we're going. Dominic, he's a WBO European champ. Dominic Bozell is the EBU European champ. How easy is that fight to make? How keen are you to make it? Well, I'm keen to make all the fights. And we do it as a team. We sit down and talk and make these fights. We'll make it. We can make it. We'll make the fight. The name of the game is to keep him busy. We work to our agenda until no one else is to our agenda. Because, like I keep saying, I could, he could have fought Kovalev. Three months ago, we were offered the fight. Could have, I wouldn't let him. He wouldn't let him make the fight. I wouldn't let him have the fight. He'd want it, but I wouldn't let him. I'm not saying he wouldn't even beat him. But when he fights for a world title, he's got to go in there that he can win it. He's fully equipped. He'd be 100% at his best. And that's where we're going to get him. And we're going to do it, as I say, at, on our agenda, at our pace. It's a, it's a great work in the making. And I'm sure at the end of the day, everybody's going to be really proud of what he achieved for the British fans.